Joshua Kirsch. I am a sculptor and a fabricator. All right. And describe your piece of it. Um, this is a interactive musical instrument sculpture installation. Um, it has uh, 56 different modules. Each one contains um, a different note from a marimba and, uh, and its own mallet and its own little electromagnet that triggers it. And they're all triggered by this keyboard in the center, which anyone, I can play, you can play, anybody can play. Just like you would play any, any other musical instrument. So were you, were you always interested in music? Or? Um, I've, yeah, I, uh, I, like I played the marimba back in high school. I was in the mallet percussion section. And, um, I always sort of had a thing for that instrument. I kind of, you know, that, that was on the back burner for a long time, and I just became a, a sculptor. And um, my, my thing is I do interactive sculpture. Sculpture you're meant to touch and change and make your own in different ways. I, you know, I've done stuff with light um, and movement, but never sound until, until this one. So how, when did you start on this piece? This, uh, let's see, I started this um, at the beginning of 2009. Yeah. And um, over the course of a semester, this was my senior thesis in college. Cool. What college were you going? I went to the School of Visual Arts in New York City. So, how'd you get the idea to do something like um, this? Well, inspiration hit, literally, when I, I had a piece of wood in my hand and I dropped it on the floor and it made a note. And that sort of uh, um, just kind of brought back the memory of, of playing, playing those instruments. And um, I, the idea just sort of grew from that seed. That's just sort of kind of the plant. Planted the seed for this whole thing. Cool. So, so how'd you hear of Art Prize? Um, I got an email from someone, uh, someone who was part of Art Prize, who was like putting it together, saw my work online, and said uh, you would be a good fit. And I had no idea this was going on. I, I, I knew of, I've heard of Grand Rapids, but that was about it. Yeah. So, um, I was like, wow, how many artists? How, how much do you win? This is, this looks great. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, sure, I'll, I'll rent a truck and I'll drive this thing 14 hours from New Jersey and set it up. This, this will be fun. And it has been so far. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, do you have any expectations? Um, I mean, winning making top ten would be great. I, I don't, you know, I don't expect anything. I think just uh, being here, being in the museum, having uh, um, the exposure, and you know, see if this leads to anything else. That's yeah. all I can ask for. Yeah. yeah. And um, it's a great spot. It's a great venue. Yeah. You know. do, you, do you have any trouble getting the spot here? Or have, no. Have that no, I. Out? Um, the public museum, they were the only ones who contacted me. That I think they contacted me long before matching ever took place, the official match times. Um, they said, we'd love to host you. And I'm like, cool, you're like, looks, you know, I looked like they were, you know, one of the big seven. And um, it was, a, you know, it seemed like it was a good fit, the, sort of the family crowd. This is sort of like a very family-friendly kind of, um, kind of piece of art. So... Um, I said, sure, let's do it. And then they suggested this space. I said, this looks good, and that was it. Cool. Anything that you, you want people to know about it? or? Uh, let's see. There's, uh, I don't know, how many, how many feet of wire? <laughs> 25 feet times 56. Uh, can't do that in my head. That's a lot. Um, I, I guess I could play something. <laughs> that'd, that'd be great. Go for it. Uh, let's see. I'll do the, I have a whole, like, a three-minute piece that I composed for this, Go for it. specifically for Sympathetic Resonance, which is the name of this sculpture, so I'll play that for you. Go for it. Okay. Okay.
Thank you.